Systematic desensitization is a psychological therapy based on the behavioural approach. It's used to treat phobias and makes the assumption that the phobia is a learned association between a stimulus and a fear response. The aim of the therapy is to unlearn the fear response. This is referred to as counter-conditioning. The therapist starts by training the client in a relaxation technique where they tense then relax their muscles from their toes up to their head to achieve a state of total relaxation and calm. This is done to ensure they cannot become anxious and fearful during the gradual exposure part of the therapy. Next, the therapist and client draw up a list of least to most feared situations involving the feared stimulus to work through. This is called a desensitisation hierarchy. The client can now be exposed to each situation on the hierarchy, starting with the least feared and working up. They must remain relaxed by using the relaxation technique they learnt at the start. The therapy is complete when the client has been exposed to the most feared situation and has remained relaxed. Each situation can either be imagined or can happen in real life if it's practical and appropriate. The phobia has now been unlearned through classical conditioning as the client has a new association. The fear response has been replaced with a calm response. Systematic desensitisation is an appropriate treatment for anxiety disorders such as phobias. It works quickly and it can even be successful after one treatment session. It requires little effort from the client and clients don't have to work through deep issues and talk about how they feel. It's more ethical than some behavioural therapies as clients are gradually exposed to the most fearful situation and they should in theory remain calm throughout. If they can't maintain the calm response they are simply taken back a step to the previous situation on the hierarchy and they use the relaxation technique to become calm again before they move back up the list. Probably most importantly the therapy works. For example, McGrath et al. reported a 75% success rate for phobias. Systematic desensitisation might remove the fear response, but it may not deal with the underlying cause of the phobia. The fear might actually be just a symptom. The psychodynamic theorists would argue that another phobia or a maladaptive behaviour would just arise in place of the old one when the current phobia is unlearned. Unless the unconscious conflict or the trauma is dealt with, then there'll be what's called symptom substitution. It's been suggested that some phobias might have their roots in evolution, like a fear of the dark or heights, and these fears might be more resistant to this treatment than others. This suggests it might not be an appropriate treatment for all phobias. More abstract phobias, such as fear of death, may be difficult to tackle directly in this therapy, and although imaginary methods are commonly used, they might not suit everyone. Those who lack visual imagery skills might not benefit from this therapy, and furthermore, Emil Camp in 1994 found that exposure to real-life stimuli in this therapy was more effective and long-lasting than when imagery was used. It's worth pointing out that systematic desensitisation is not the only behavioural therapy. Others include aversion therapy, where an unpleasant stimulus is used to remove an unwanted behaviour. Another is the token economy, which is often used in institutions such as psychiatric hospitals, and a reward in the form of a token is given for desirable behaviour, which can be exchanged for rewards and treats. Social skills training is another one, where target behaviours are modelled by the therapist and practised and imitated by the client. It's interesting to know about other therapies, but in your exam you can only be asked directly about systematic desensitisation as a behavioural therapy.